It's an unfortunate but undeniable fact that many lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender individuals and people living with HIV experience discrimination in housing. There are federal and state protections in place to protect your housing rights. And armed with this information, you'll better be able to protect yourself and your loved ones from housing discrimination. Currently, five states have sexual orientation non-discrimination laws. In addition, 16 states and the District of Columbia and more than 100 municipalities have enacted LGBT inclusive non-discrimination laws and other protections against housing discrimination. Federally, two laws, the Fair Housing Act and the Federal Nursing Home Reform Act, offer certain protections for LGBT older adults in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and all U.S. territories, regardless of whether their local government has a non-discrimination law on its books. Let's focus on the Fair Housing Act. The Fair Housing Act is the only federal law that prohibits discrimination in most public and private housing on the basis of race, color, national origin, religion, disability, gender, and familial status. Although there are no explicit protections in the Fair Housing Act regarding sexual orientation or gender identity, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD, announced guidelines in 2010 that clarified that gender identity discrimination may qualify as sex discrimination under the Fair Housing Act. HUD staff were also instructed to inform individuals who are filing complaints about state and local agencies that have LGBT inclusive non-discrimination laws. The Fair Housing Act protects LGBT older adults and older adults living with HIV in many ways. For example, a landlord who discriminates against a female prospective tenant because she wears masculine clothes or otherwise engages in expressions that are stereotypically male may be violating the Fair Housing Act in terms of gender discrimination. Or a landlord who evicts a gay man because he believes the tenant may have HIV may be engaging in discrimination on the basis of disability. Even though sexual orientation and gender identity are not specifically spelled out in the language of the Fair Housing Act, LGBT older adults and older adults living with HIV should contact HUD if they feel they are experiencing housing discrimination because these actions may violate the Fair Housing Act. Beyond that, reporting discrimination to HUD allows the government agency to track such cases and increase visibility on this issue, which can lead to more LGBT-inclusive housing policy changes. Now, housing discrimination may take on different forms, and you may not be aware of what housing discrimination looks like. So here are some examples. If a landlord or owner refuses to rent an apartment or sell you a house, sets different terms before agreeing to rent you an apartment, provides different services or facilities, falsely denies that housing is available for inspection, sale, or rental, denies you access to a facility or service, denies approval for a mortgage loan or information regarding loans, or if you are given different terms or conditions to qualify for a loan because you are, or perceived to be, LGBT. Allows you to rent or buy only if you dress or present in a certain way. You can file a complaint with HUD at no cost to you, either by phone, online, or by mailing a complaint to the regional office that services your state. You are also entitled to file a lawsuit in federal or state court. Know your rights, protect your rights. For more information on this and other legal topics, visit Lambda Legal at www.lambdalegal.org. You can also visit the National Resource Center on LGBT Aging for more information on housing issues facing LGBT older adults and older adults living with HIV.